really? Como esta, internet? Mi nombre es Roberto. Okay, so here we are with Trivia Mayhem. Uh, welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It is now time for Trivia Mayhem. We have our contestants. We have a boatload of contestants tonight, thanks to Miles. Uh, let's start on that and let's introduce ourselves. Who have we got? Hey, I'm Christy. Hi, Christy. Welcome to the party. Uh, here we have... I'm Jonah. Jonah. Nice to meet you, Jonah. And, and Jonah, we have... Miles. Miles. You're like his uh, Klaatu. You're attached there. And you are... My name is Ian. Ian. Yep. Never heard of you. All right. Who's keeping score? Oh, and I have the... Uh-oh. Where's Molly? Take this to Edward. We almost botched this whole thing. All right. So here's how it works. We have... We have... Christy. Yes. We have... Gosh dang it. Now I need a pen. Look at that. So here's how it's going to work. You're going to roll the die. We're going to start on this end and go that way. It's just easier. You're going to roll the die. Whatever number you come up with corresponds to a different game on the table here. I'll pick it up. I'll ask you the questions. Round one is easier. You'll find out what the different categories are as we go along. Uh, and then I'll also tell you what the point values are as well. Let's roll it up, Ian. Three. Three. And if you roll it in here, it'll be louder. We'll get to the bells, too. So three is Factor Crap. Thank you. We have Doctor Who Trivial Pursuit. So you got Factor Crap. So here's how this game works. It's not really trivia. I'm just going to ask you the three questions that are on here. Each one is worth 30 points. You just got to tell me if it's fact or crap. Talk into your microphone, too. Okay. First one. Emperor Harito of Japan was a marine biologist who was a mollusk named who has a mollusk named after him. Fact or crap? Fact. That is a fact. Edward, did you get those points? Look at they're fighting out here. Did you get the points? Okay. All right, Ian, question two. There is a species of lemur named for John Cleese because of his role in helping the endangered animal. Crap. That's fact. The default ringtone on Nokia mobile phones is the Finnish national anthem. Fact or crap? We're going to go with crap again. I forgot and I threw the card down too early. <laughs> it is crap! What did he say? Excellent! He got the points. Round two. Or no, not round two. You, roll. Wow. Where's that coffee? Five. You got the hardest thing on the board. No, I'm kidding you. Uh, let's go with... This one. You got, are you smarter than a fifth grader? No, we're not doing that. Should we do Doctor Who trivia? No, no, we have the Doctor Who trivial pursuit. You weren't paying attention. All right, we're doing Doctor Who trivia. Miles, you're on. Get ready. So these are worth 10 points a piece or 100 if you think you can do the whole card. Guts? Do you think you can do all six questions? No. All right, we're going to go with I was really trying to help you out there, man. All right, so here we go. Wow. Miles, if you get these, impressive. Double points if Miles gets all these. How's that? Where did the master send the Torchwood team on a rogue mission to distract them while he planned to take over the world? Guess, guess, guess. All right. I'm not going to read it again for the guys in the back. Tough guys. It's the Himalayas. Dead card. Okay, no points. Christy, roll it up. Six. Six. You got Movie Mania. These are worth 30 points apiece. So this is a new game for us, so I don't know exactly how it works, so we're going to figure it out. Uh, okay. Who won the Oscar for Best Actor for his role in the movie Bridge on the River Kwai? I will give you three names. You can take a guess from that, okay? okay. Uh, Yul Brenner, Alec Guinness, Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston. Only one of them was in Bridge on the River Kwai, and that is Alec Guinness. <laughs> Dead card. All right, Ian, roll it up. We won. That's okay. It gets much harder from here. Excellent. Six. Movie mania. Don't cheat. Okay, here we go. Who said this? This is a quote, so you got to tell me what movie. You can tell me what movie. I'll accept it. If you can tell me who, you'll get an extra 10 points. Okay. 
okay? If you're really Santa Claus, you can get it for me. And if you can't, you're only a nice man with a white beard, like Mother says. My mom knows it. Martha knows it. I'm trying to get the... Uh, is that a Christmas story? No. Dead card. What is it, audience? Oh, wait, you guys get to steal. Shh, shh. You get to steal. Yes. Oh, she knows how to play. <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street. Yes, yeah, she gets the points. I'm so glad you said steal. Do you know who said it? You mean the actress's name? Sure. No, I can't. I mean, it was a little girl. But. Oh, I would have given you 10 points. Natalie Wood. Oh. Natalie Wood if she could. All right, but it's now your card, so I get to ask you these questions. Oh, okay. There are, <laughs> there are more? I skipped over. All right. In the movie Back to the Future, why does Leia Thompson mistakenly assume that Michael J. Fox's name is Calvin? Because he's wearing Calvin Klein jeans. No! Yes! Calvin Klein underwear. Yes! <laughs> 30 points. All right. Last one goes to you now. Uh, who played the role of Keith or Sutherland's girlfriend in the beginning of The Lost Boys? Whoa, that's a tough one. Who played, who played Kiefer Sutherland's girlfriend in the movie Lost Boys? I've watched that movie many times, but I don't know. All right, can you guys guess? Audience, you don't get any points, but do you know who it is? Local girl Jamie Gertz, yes. Yes, all right. Ian, no, you're up. You roll? roll it up, Miles. Come on, man. One, Nick at Night TV trivia. I don't think Miles is getting any of these. <laughs> what did Darren Stevens call Dr. Bombay on Bewitched? Oh, these are worth 10 a points or 100 for the whole card. What do you want to do? What, what's that, sir? 10 a, point, 10 a piece or 100 for the whole card. Uh, ten piece. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay, what did Darren Stevens call Dr. Bombay on Bewitched? I don't remember. Anyone want to steal? No, no, no. He's a witch doctor. See, she's a witch and he's a doctor. Okay. I didn't write the comedy. All right, you're up. I don't need your microphone. Oh, you need this. <laughs> You are all a fluster over here. Three. Three. Factor crap. She's like, yes, factor crap. All right, 30 points apiece, and you get all three questions. In Atlantic Canada, they eat dulce, which is dried purple seaweed. Am I saying that right? Dulce? Okay. It's dulce. Fact. It is a fact. Could you see? No, no. I'm kidding. Uh, in the mid-90s, there was a Scottish fad for selling deep-fried chocolate bars. Fact. What'd you say? Fact. It is a fact. Let's go to Scotland. All right. Uh, here we go. The bird of paradise is named for Adam's pet bird in the Garden of Eden. Crap. That is crap. So you got 90 points on that card. Well done. All right, Ian, roll it up. Six. I need to know what time it is because I gotta set my timer. Woo! We got a lot of time. All right. Six. Mm -hmm. Movie mania. Let's do it. The Marx Brothers classic Duck Soup, starring Mar Groucho Marx as the lazy king of Fredonia. They spelled it wrong here, by the way. Was featured in which, which of the following years? 1933, 1938, or 1945? 38. What, what year did Duck Soup come out? What'd you say? 38. I can't really do stealing on that when I give multiple choice, can I? No. Nope, no stealing. Dead card, 33. Sorry, Ian. Bum, 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 bum. I hope that wasn't licensed. One. One. Nick at night. Miles, you're up. <laughs> All right. Which sweat hog did Ron Palillo play on Welcome Back, Cotter? Hey. <gasps> that was not a show of mine. How dare you? I know. I know. All right. Put your geek card out. 
Who did Ron Palillo play? Nobody? I'm sorry. No. I, oh. My mom All right. wouldn't let me watch it. Audience, just say who it is. Horseshack. Of course. It's Horshack. Arnold Horshack. You want to give his home address, maybe some of his history? All right. Dead card. You guys are going through these. Whose turn is it? Christy, you're up. Three again. Three with the big roll. Factor crap. That's why she's rolling it like that. Okay. 30 points apiece. Desperate writing agency. Ro start that Let's again. Let's start that one again. Despite... Writing Regency romances. I had none of the words right in that. Jane Austen was married five times. Fact or crap? crap. That is crap. 16 times, like Liz Taylor. Uh, the Austra I made that up. Folks. Zero. The Australian beer Foster's was named for Foster Grant, a Canadian chiropractor. Crap. That is crap. And the very first video on YouTube depicted a kitten... Playing the piano. Fact. No. Crap! It didn't. But a lot of them after that did. Yes. So, all right. I wish it was, but I saw the card before. So I don't Cheater. Ah. All right. Uh, Ian, your turn. Where are we at on score? Here's the good news. There's no major cash prize, so. Miles and Jonah have zero points. Yeah, we stole one. We got some. Yeah, they stole they points. Two. Give us one they should have 60. Or, yeah. yeah. Yes. 60. Sure. Sure. Ian has 90 points, I think. 90 points for Ian. Oh, I know who's winning. 180, Christy. She's the one to beat. All right, one. Nick at night. Here we go. Which character hated to be addressed as Poopsie on the many lives of Dobie Gillis? I, that was English, by the way. I assume so. What character hated to be addressed as Poopsie on the many lives of Dobie Gillis? Nope. Nope. Anyone want to steal? Come on. Nobody? I'm not that old and I watch Dobie Gillis. I know it. It was Dobie. The girl, the one with the dark hair, called him Poopsie and he hated it. All right, Dad. Sign language isn't going to fly on a podcast. All right, that one died. Who's up? Six. Jonah with six. Movie mania. All right. Nobody's getting the Doctor Who questions here. I uh, know. Okay. You got to tell me what movie and who said it for an extra 10 points. These are 30 points apiece. Is that a gun in your pocket or are you just glad to see me? Naked Gun. Um, what's his name? Golly. I've seen the movies a million times. Okay. That is a fantastic answer, but that's not the one we're looking for. <laughs> okay. He was quoting something else when they said that. What movie did that come from originally? Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Did I say Steel that's Time? In your pocket. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were looking right at me. What no, it's my lazy eye. I was, I was looking around town. You know what? He didn't get it, and you didn't get it, and you didn't get it. Does anybody know? Oh, yes! Mae West said it. It was in she done him wrong. So, on that one. Uh, but you know what? Give him 10 points because he did say it in Naked Gun. <laughs> All right, Christy. Five. Doctor Who. All right. 10 points apiece or 100 for the whole card? 10. Bring on the obscure question. All right. Here we go. Ooh, 10 apiece. Okay. And I almost read you the answer. <laughs> that would have been helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're going to play now. You're going to have to tell me what the question is. <laughs> when the 10th Doctor was shot by a Dalek and began to regenerate, where did he siphon the regeneration energy, allowing him to heal but not to regenerate? In his spare hand. Yeah. And, and where was that? Can you tell me who had it? And it was. She said it, but you know what? You still got the points. So <laughs> somebody was excited out in the audience there. All right, here we go. Next question. It was in the TARDIS in a jar. Yes, Captain Jack Hartness had the jar, and yeah, okay. When Colonel Pemberton. Are you doubting Trivial Pursuit? They're wrong. The Moops. It says. That was a Seinfeld deep cut. Nobody got that one? Well done, Marth. Ten points to her. 
When Colonel Pemberton is killed fighting the great intelligence's Yeti in the London Underground, who is sent to replace him and take charge of the fortress? One more time, please. In English? Yes. When Colonel Pemberton is killed fighting the great intelligence's Yeti in the London Underground, who is sent to replace him and take charge of the fortress? No? Nope. Anyone want to steal? Are oh, you going to make me read that again? You're not going to know this one. I said Yeti in it. Who is it? Yes. No points for Chris. Sorry. Ah. All right. Who's up? I forgot. All right. Ian's up. This will be the end of this round. Yes. Six. Six. This is the end. This will be the end of round one. Okay. Uh, in what year was True Grit released? The original, oh, the original. True Grit. I'll give you a hint. It was a year. <laughs> was it a year with four seasons in it? Yes. Okay. And the four seasons were actively performing then, too. Wow. Nobody laughed at that one? That was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. All right. <laughs> 1970. You are so d- close. It's 1969. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Go roll it. it up. Roll it up. Miles, Miles, Miles you going to roll it? Go ahead. Yes, let's give him 10 points for that. Six again, but we're out of sixes. Six. Oh, out of sixes. Roll again. Four. Yes. All right. First time. We have a chance. Trivial Pursuit. Junior. <laughs> Junior. You still can't say the. All right, here we go. What's the largest country in South America? Brazil. Yes, Miles got it right. Uh, what Spanish word means festival or party? You can say it. Fiesta. You guys are a team. Fiesta, so, I know. Yes, it's a fiesta. I want to give them the Okay. What three colors form the picture on a color television? What's that? What was the question? What three colors form the picture on a color television? Oh, my gosh. Uh, black. Red, green, blue. <laughs> yes, it's red, green, blue. It's not black. That's not a color. <laughs> What book begins with the line, call me Ishmael? Moby Dick. Yes. Have you ever heard of Moby Dick? It's all awesomeness. It's complete awesome. Which was smoother, which has smoother skin, a frog or a toad? Final answer? Let's go with it. Yes, we are going with it. Because he's right. It's a frog. (laughs) And what shape is the board of Chinese checkers? What shape is the board in Chinese checkers? Uh, Hexagon. Yes. No, it's a six-pointed star, but we'll go with that. I don't care. Hexagon, we'll give him the points. Right? Am I right? That's still six points, right? Okay. Roll it up. It's a six-sided star. A, a six-sided star. Okay. Well, a hexagon is six. But the board is shaped. It's not shaped like a star. It's shaped like a hexagon with a star shape on it. Am I right? Yes. Can I give him the points? Yes. Can we turn on her? Four. Four. Uh, uh, Trivial Pursuit Junior. Is that what's what it was the last time, too? Now that we lost the cards over here, I can't do the math. All right. Is Miles going to help you on these, or you think you got it? Uh, Miles can help me, absolutely. What's the Australian unit of currency? What kind of money do they use in Australia? Thank you for translating. <laughs> it's like I'm standing next to the TARDIS now. It's a dollar. It is a dollar. What about in Canada? Do you know what they use in Canada? The loony and the toonie. How awesome is that? 
What famous fashion doll could be proportionally close to seven feet tall if she were being turned into a human being? Famous fashion doll. Barbie. It is Barbie. How many degrees of burns are there? How many degrees of burns are there? Like first degree burn, how many degrees are there? Hundred and six? How about your answer, Christy? I'm gonna go with three. It is three. You were so close with 106. Good answer. Good answer. You know what? We just spent last weekend in Indianapolis with one of our podcasters, Scott. He has fourth degree burns. You should see these sideburns. They're giant. So there are more than three. Um, <laughs> Edward Burns. Uh, what book about a noisy car was written by Ian Fleming, the creator of James Bond? Oh, is this going to kill the card? What book about a noisy car was written by Ian Fleming, the guy who created James Bond? Is it Herbie the Love Bug? No. Anyone want to seal? No? No? What is it? Oh, a dead card. Dune Buggy would have been acceptable, too. All right. That's... Huh? It's terrible. Um, boo. All right, that's it for round one. Where are we at on points? Okay, so Ian is in last place with 100 points. Woohoo! Um, Miles and Joan are in second place with 130 points. All right. Woo-hoo. And Chrissy's in first place with 220 points. Awesome. All right, it is still anybody's game because now we go into round two. Round two, every single card here is worth either 20 points apiece or 200 for the card. And so you, they've all doubled. And there's audience stealing now. And if you don't get it right, and you don't get it right, I get the points, which means I am rooting for me. All right, so... Yay! I'm always rooting for me. Okay, round two. Let's roll it up. In. It's a very quiet crowd tonight. Everyone's just sitting here like you're being taught something. He got three. Doctor Who Trivia. All right, audience, pay attention. Because I know Ian's going to screw this up. He gets a chance to answer. And oh, just like it worked here, if, if you guys don't get it and it goes to the audience and they steal it, then I ask you guys the question so you can steal all those booty points. 20 points apiece or 200 for the whole card? Let's go 20 apiece. I had a feeling. When a speck of psychic pollen finds its way into the TARDIS, it manipulates Amy, Rory, and the Doctor's minds. What was the name of the dark persona of the Doctor that becomes manifest. Hang on. Settle down. I know the actor who plays him. <laughs> Not on the card. Uh, I want to say there's a, the word puzzle involved, but I can't think of it. Uh, word puzzle's not involved. All right. Do you, anyone want to steal? You got to ring your bell if you want to steal. And audience, would you like to steal? You got to get a consensus. What is it? It's about the art. Three more. Three more. What is the consensus? Dream Lord. Dream Lord? Dream Lord it is. Five points from Nathan, but the audience gets the points. Now I'm going to ask the audience the questions, and you guys sit tight while I ask the questions. All right? In which second season, or in which second Doctor story does Polly nearly get converted into the fish person during experiments to, say, to raise Atlantis from the sea? I know, that was just a big garbled mess. Let's try that again. In which second Doctor story does Polly nearly get converted into a fish person during experiments to raise Atlantis from the sea? Lots of silence out there. All right. I will say the first part. In which second doctor story does Polly nearly get converted into a fish person? All 
All right, I'm going to these guys. Anyone want to steal? Ooh, dead card. It's the Underwater Menace. Oh, Chris should have guessed. Too little, too late. Oh, and guess what? I get the points. Yeah! 20 points to me. You hear me coming up behind you, Ian? Yeah. I'm getting you. All right, roll it up. One. All right, this is Trivial Pursuit Volume 6. Oh, by the way, all the games changed except Dr. Who Trivia is still in here now. Okay? Here we go. 20 points apiece or 200 for the whole card? 20 apiece. Okay. Which political pundit began hosting ABC's Sunday Morning Gab Fest this week in 2002? CBS. Which political pundit, pay attention audience, began hosting ABC's Sunday Morning Gab Fest this week in 2002? Bob Schieffer. Anyone want to steal? George Stephanopoulos. Did you ring your bell? <laughs> I just want to make you ring that bell. Yes, you got it! 20 points goes to you. Now the card is yours. Here we go. What popular 60s car model did Lee Iacocca order built atop the low-cost chassis of a Ford Falcon? Again, please. What popular 60s car model did Lee Iacocca order built atop the low-cost chassis of a Ford Falcon? Is it an El Camino? Anyone want to steal? Yes. Shelby Cobra? Audience? Nope. Audience? Last time I'll read it, Edward. What popular 60s car model did Lee Iacocca order built atop the low-cost chassis of a Ford Falcon? I get better each time. Final answer? It is the Mustang. Okay, audience, your turn here. Here we go. Who earned the Premier Magazine review, great director, crap actor, even worse, American Idol judge? Who earned the Premier Magazine review, great director, crap actor, even worse, American Idol judge? Final answer? Yes, Quentin Tarantino. Audience participation, come on. Uh, who claimed he'd had relations with Notorious B.I.G.'s wife on the rap ditty, Hit Him Up? I act like I know what that is. I don't know almost any of the words in that sentence. <laughs> Audience? Come on, you kids that are into the hip hop. You guys, come on. I know you're hip-hoppers. It is Tupac. Hold on, hold on. I got a joke. Shakur it is. Yeah, I had a joke. Who turned down the male lead in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon so he could star in Romeo Must Die? I knew it without looking. Audience? Gently it is. What? Nobody's doing a little Jet Li love here? I love Jet Li. Uh, okay, what U.S. tennis star auctioned off his shorn dreadlocks to raise money for a girls' hoops team? Don't make me say this one again. <laughs> say, say the first part again. Okay. What U.S. tennis star? Yeah. You want me to say more of it? Auctioned off his shorn dreadlocks to raise money for a girls' hoops team. I want a final answer, audience. Agassi? Is that it? Wrong. You guys want to steal? James Blake. It is James Blake. Woo, last minute steal, 20 points. All right. Whose turn is it? You roll it up. James Blake. Five. OK, you got generic trivia game. Uh, we got this at a thrift store and it literally is a black and white box that says trivia. So you got one of the easy cards. We'll see how easy they are. 20 points a piece, 200 for the whole card. 20 with piece. All right. In what... I don't know if these are easy. In what comic strip would we find Mr. Dithers? Don't 
tell her because you could get the points and get it wrong because I want the points. I don't know. Anyone want to steal? Yes. Blondie? It is Blondie. Yes. Ian's got a Blondie tattoo right now. All right, Ian, these are your questions. In the 1967 Oscars, Talk to the Animals was chosen best song. In what movie would we hear it? Dr. Doolittle? It is Dr. Doolittle. Who recorded the song Blue Monday in 1957? I don't know what these cards are. Who recorded Blue Monday in 1957? Nope. Nope. Want to steal? Nope. Want to steal? Is that a final answer? Final answer? Nope, it's Fats Domino. Dead card. All right, who's up? Ian's up. Not as easy as we thought, huh? Two. This is another weird trivia game we found at a used place. I love going to these. This one's called Forte. They look like Trivial Pursuit cards, but they have different categories. This one, the categories are soaps, cartoons, space, pairs, ads, and fair play. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> So, Ian, 20 points apiece or 200 for the whole card? Put 20 apiece. Okay. Who is the voice of Tennessee Tuxedo? <laughs> really? Tennessee Tuxedo. Am I just, you don't know what any of that is. Okay, would you guys like to steal? Oh, Christy, please. Don Rickles? Audience, would you like to steal? Is that the, def the final answer? I, you know what? I'm even going to screw around. Yes, it's Don Adams. I you couldn't think close. of his last name. You were close. Okay, audience, these are yours. Where was the original setting for One Life to Live? Final answer? It says on here Philadelphia. I'll give it to you, but the card's dead. How's that? I'll give you 20 points. Dead card. Okay. Whose turn? Noah. Miles, roll it. Four. Miles, do you like Marvel movies? Like Bring Avengers and Spider-Man? Yes. Yes. Marvel Cinematic Universe Trivial Pursuit. We're in our backyard. 20 points apiece or 200 for the card? 200 for the card. 200 for the card. <laughs> I host a Marvel podcast. I talk about this every week ad nauseum. I would go 20 points apiece. I'm just saying. What actor plays Agent Phil Coulson? What actor? Yep. No, oh, <laughs> you can't. It can't be. I've been binge-watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. lately, so I, I, know, know. I, know, I know. What actor plays Agent Phil Coulson? All right, I'm already dead. <laughs> wow! Here's the unfortunate thing, you guys. Since he went for 200 for the card, you can't steal. Only they can. Audience, who plays Coulson? I don't know. What is it? Clark. Final answer? Greg Clark had a band. Clark Gregg is Agent Colson. Yes. All right, Mr. 200 points. Yeah. Name the Howling Commando played by Neil McDonough. Uh, oh, You've got your phone out. You could be cheating. Oh, Farmville. No. Not Farmville? Which one is it? It's a horse version. Horseville. <laughs> No? Nope. Nobody got it? All right. It goes back to you guys. Who does Patrick McDonough play? It would help if I knew who Patrick McDonough was. <laughs> Already passed you. Nothing? What is it? Dum Dum Dugan. Yes. You learned something. All right. Roll it up. That's Sebastian Stan plays Bucky. 
the Winter Soldier. Six. Six. Trivial Pursuit, 90s edition? No, I changed it. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Tennessee. That's a Tennessee tuxedo joke. Uh, Pop Culture 2. All right. Trivial Pursuit, Pop Culture 2, 20 or 200 for the whole card? Yeah, that's a smart choice. (laughs) Unlike somebody's choice. Uh, What Touched by an Angel Star founded LA's Understanding Principles for Better Living Church? Stella Reese. Yes, 20 points. What company puts a real spring in athlete's steps with its spring-loaded shocks sneakers? Guess a shoe company. Uh, Asics. Who? Asics? Asics. I don't know what that is. All right, so obviously no. What do you guys want to steal? Adidas. Audience. It doesn't go ding, ding, ding. It's two. What is it? It doesn't go ding, ding, ding. Skechers? It's Nike made the shocks. Yep. All right. Aces, it's called, or Aces? A-S-I-C-S. Oh, like basics without the B. Got it. One. Are you cheating? Good. Trivia Pursuit Volume 6, what do you want to do? 20 or 200? What NBA owner gave away $100 million of his own loot to the winner of a reality show called The Benefactor? What NBA owner? What NBA owner gave away a million dollars of his own loot to the winner of the reality show called The Benefactor? Use your microphone. I don't know that many owners. So, out. Mark Cuban. You got to ring your bell. Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban is correct. And use your microphone, too. All right. Now it goes to you. What fad item did Oregon's John Stahlberger co-invent in the 1970s to rehab his injured knee? What fad item did Oregon's John Stahlberger co-invent in the 1970s to rehab his injured knee? Item? I remember when the knee brace was such a fad item. It was so cool. <laughs> All right. Anyone want to steal? Nordic track? That was not a fad item either. All right, audience. What fad item? It was Horseville, ironically. No, it was Hacky Sack. Wow. All right. It was a hacky sack? Audience. Yeah, well, he was rehabbing his knee. That's crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I think that hurts your name. <laughs> All right, audience. What does Spencer Tunic's models typically wear when posing for his vast group photos? Spencer Tunic's models, what do they wear when they do their mass group photos? It would be awesome if they were tunics. That would be awesome. Final answer? It's nothing. They're naked. We're not going to reenact that here, thank God. Yes. What 14-year-old from Napanee, Ontario, Napanee, am I saying that wrong? Somebody's going to correct me online. Napanee, Ontario, got to belt out a duet with Shania Twain after winning a radio contest. What 14-year-old from Napanee, Ontario, got to belt out a duet with Shania Twain? Not Anne Murray. Incorrect. It's, uh, I can't remember her name. Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. You want to see it? Oh, you're kidding me. Here we go. All right, whose turn is it? He rolled live. Then it's your turn. How'd you roll? I'm so confused by this. How many points do I have? Have you been keeping track of my points? Yeah. How <laughs> dare you? I got another 20 there. Five. Five. Lucky number five. All right, you got generic trivia again. You get Marvel trivia again. I know, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? I'm you could go for 200 much. again. No, no. <laughs> All right. In what comic strip would we find prune face and flat top? Um, Dick Tracy. Correct. 
impressive. In the 1957 Oscars, I'm not going to ask 220 again. No. We're just going with Please. 20 apiece. Please do not. In the 1957 Oscars, who won Best Actress for a role in The Three Faces of Eve? What year? It's going to make a difference, huh? 1957. Probably not, but... No, you know, I had a feeling. Okay. Worth a shot. No. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so who won an Oscar for Three Faces of Eve in 1957? No idea. Anyone want to steal? Audience, would you like to steal? I can't believe my parents have nothing to say on this one. Joanne Woodward, I get the points. I get the points. All right, whose turn? Christy, you're up. Roll it up, Christy. Is Christy still winning? Two. Two. You got Forte. All right. Uh, hmm. Which actress who stars on Dallas has a bulletproof bathroom? I have no idea. The old Dallas, the original Dallas. Which actress who stars on Dallas has a bulletproof bathroom? Like in real life. I'm assuming. Don't know. Nope. Okay. Anyone want to steal? Audience? Quick. Quick. Show and Tilton, final answer, and it is Victoria Principal. I get 20 points for that one. Roll it up, Ian. Two. Forte. Here we go. What did the owl and the pussycat take with them? What did the owl and the pussycat take with them? Nope. No idea. Nope. It's not the Runcible Spoon. How about you guys? What do you guess? Come on, that was a Owl and the Pussycat joke. Come on, credit for that one. Ah, I get the points. Nothing? Nothing? Audience? What is it? Dang it! Really? Yes. 20 points to the audience Woo! for that one. Nice job. Dang it. All right. This is last round, by the way, and then we go into the final. Uh, all right, audience, pay attention. In what comic book series... I know you're listening. Did Superman make his debut? <laughs> I need a final answer. What super what series, what comic book series did Superman make his debut in? <laughs> final answer? Comics. It is Action Comics. <laughs> Who is captain of the Klingons? <laughs> captain of the Klingons. So this has to be going back to the original series because there have been other things with Captain's Klingon since then. There's a Uranus joke there too, but I'm not going to say that one here. Yes. Huh? Who's the Captain of the Klingons? Wow! <laughs> okay. Anyone want to steal? Khan? No, he wasn't a Klingon. He was Captain Koloth. Koloth? I, I know I'm right. I'm reading the card. <laughs> Edward, no, no, you're right. I got it. I okay, whatever. Whose turn is it? All right, this is it. Roll it. Roll, roll it there. Give us, give us a four. Edward, you better be adding up points because four. We're going into final, final round right here. Four. four. Marvel. Twenty apiece. Twenty apiece. <laughs> In what province of what country does the film Iron Man begin? Um, I will actually accept... Ontario, Canada. I will actually accept the country. Canada. Did you see Iron oh, Man? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Anyone want to steal? A you gave it as an uh, answer. No, I, know, I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, You're ringing your little bell. <laughs> Afghanistan. It is. Do you remember what province? No, not at all. It's the Kunar province. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, Miles, it's okay. Why didn't you answer that? Yeah, it's okay. Save me from he, me. he embarrasses us, but... All right, who plays... This is you. Pay attention. Who plays Dr. Abraham... Well, who plays... It is not. Who plays Dr. Abraham Erskine in Captain America, the first Avenger? No. 
new cards. Not the actors. Nope. No one wants to steal? Nope. Who is it? It is Stanley Tucci. Audience gets these questions now. What is the... Name the actor who plays Dr. Samuel Stearns. Interesting. Not Senator Stearns. That's another character. Dr. Samuel Stearns. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, 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 audience. No. Would you guys like to steal? It's your big chance. Oh. Tim Blake Nelson. Does nothing for me. The Incredible Hulk. Does Remember, he's the one that becomes the, what's the guy? He gets the head. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he's awesome, man. So, yeah, he's. The Abomination. The Abomination. You know, he doesn't become the Abomination. That's Tim Roth becomes the We're not getting into this right now. All right. Roll it up. I get the points. Four. Four. One, two, three. Marvel. All right, here we go. 20 apiece. Name the actress who plays Vanity Fair reporter Christine Everhart. Pass. Pass. Oh. All right. Would one of you like to steal? Ring your bell. Ring your bell, ring your bell, ring your bell. Which is it going to be? Nope. All right. Wait. Audience, you can steal this. These are Marvel questions. It's not the new adventures of old Christine. What did you put in her drink tonight? Hey, audience, when we're taking consensus, don't listen to her. Name the actress who plays Vanity Fair reporter Christine Everhart. What You're much closer than Martha. <laughs> no? It's Leslie Bibb. She's the one that Iron Man is with in the beginning of the Iron Man movie. All right! <laughs> End of round two. Edward, where are we at? Well, that 170's respectable, though. Let's hear it up for him. Second to last, what's their point? Wait, wait, wait. How much? So Ian was 170 and they're at 190? Oh. Now here's the crazy thing. Final round is six questions. They're 50 points apiece. So literally all of us are in the hunt for this one. No, I am too, because if they don't get it and you don't get it, I get it. And we don't have the same stealing. I ask the question to you guys. You ring your bell. Whoever answers first, if you get it wrong, it goes right to the audience. Okay? So you don't get that other stealing chance. Right. So be ready. Is this working? Okay. I might just yell ding. <laughs> Here we go. This is from 20th Anniversary Trivial Pursuit. These are tough. What nation should be embraced by the U.S. according to experts dubbed panda huggers? China? Correct. 50 points. Uh, Pulling ahead. Who sipped celebratory ma margaritas when his four-CD collection, Boats, Beaches, Bars, and Ballads, went quadruple? <laughs> who, who was it? Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Let me finish the question. I was like, no, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. What creatures... Whoa. All right, get ready for a butchering. What creatures grower subspecies was decimated in the quest for control of the Congo's tantalum ore deposits? Can I try that again? What creatures... Grower, so that's the creature's grower is the name of the subspecies. G R A U E R. What I'm no Alex Trebek. <laughs> what creature's grower subspecies was decimated in the quest for control of the Congo's tantalum ore deposits? 
Not easy to read. There's a split on Tantellum, too, so I have to read. You know, it ends here, and then i got to read it down here. Who is it? Is it a lion? Audience, would you like to steal? Oh, yeah. the answer is no. Oh. Would, the, would you like to steal? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. I get it. It's gorillas. <laughs> Should have said something. I like how you get the points yourself. They're over here like, we won! They don't know, but we won! All right, here we go. You guys. What two boxers are central to Mark Cram's 2001 book, Ghosts of Manila? What two boxers are central to Mark Cram's 2001 book, Ghosts of Manila? Would that be Muhammad Ali and George Foreman? Incorrect. Audience? Final answer? 50 points goes to the audience. That is the thriller in Manila. All right, here we go. You guys. What do sufferers of autosemal... Whoa. This is... Wait till you hear this one. I. This is going to be hooked on phonics here. Look out. Whew. What do sufferers of autosomal... Somal, autosomal, dominant, compelling, helio-ophthalmic outburst syndrome do when exposed to bright light. It's just that first word is a tough one. What are sufferers of autosomal, dominant, compelling, helio-ophthalmic outburst syndrome do when exposed to bright light? They scream. Mary Bell. They scream. Incorrect. What do they do? I'm waiting for a final answer. Final answer, quick, 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 quick. Whatever she says. Blister audience? It's sneeze. <laughs> I got 50 points. It's so awesome. Last question of the night. What boxer got peeved when Lennox Lewis repeatedly refer referred to him as John Louise? What boxer got peeved when Lennox Lewis repeatedly referred to him as John Louise? Not you guys, you guys. Sugar Ray Leonard? No. Audience, last time. What boxer got peeved when Lennox Lewis repeatedly referred to him as John Louise? I get 50 points. It's John Ruiz. Yes! Yes! All right. I want... Who came in last? Ian. Ian! I just knew it. But, but, respectable. We've had people get 0 and 20. What did he get? Yeah, 170 points. Respectable. We've had people win with that number. Well done. What's next? Miles and Jonah with 190 points. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Way to go. Oh. Oh, I'm truly in the hunt now. How much? 310? Yes. Way to go, Christy. What did I have? Oh, I was so close. And you guys screwed up and didn't give me all my points. So I'm going to give it to you. You won, Christy. Well done. You win a Laurel and Hardy handshake. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. That was Trivia Mayhem. We will be out of here quickly so you can watch who...